Yeah, this is going to be a quick one. It's a sad day in the boxing world because this clown, Saul Cinnabon Santos Alvarez, right, you know, um, bucked on his contract just so he can continuously duck David Benavidez. And it's sad, bro. It's sad that this clown continuously does this, right? For years, we called out this clown. All you Cinnabon Man fans, go ahead and click out the video. I already know how y'all get down. But for the ones with common sense that's trying to wrap their minds around this clown, this idiot, all right, that's destroying the sport of boxing. Canelo Alvarez is, is, is the brain cancer of boxing, all right? So with that being said, uh, to quickly summarize what's going on with this is that um, he, he's ducking Terrence Crawford and he's ducking David Benavidez. He don't want no smoke with neither. He only wants weak opponents, okay? And um, he wants to be, um, he, he, he wants his weak opponents delivered to him on a, on a, on a platinum plate with, um, with gold spoons and forks, right? So, in reality, okay, the, the, the fans, we want to see Canelo Alvarez against David Benavidez, okay? I personally wanted to see Terrence Crawford move up to the weight divisions to, to, to knock his head off, but we're never going to see that, right? It's because this clown would like to take on Edgar Bolinga and Jaime Mugia because he knows that Eddie Hearn and Matchroom are going to pay him uh, for that bullshit, but not so fast, okay? So y'all can see here after it was reported that Canelo Alvarez is set to shockingly leave the PBC, new details have been released explaining the reasons behind the split. Alvarez was expected to fight under the PBC banner in May. With fights against the likes of Jamal Charlo, David Benavidez, and Terrence Crawford all touted. Let me stop him right there. So, as far as Jamal Charlo is concerned, right? We already know that Charlo came out and it'll be known that nobody even contacted him about the fight. I need y'all to I need y'all to think about this. Okay. So Canelo Alvarez signed a three contract, uh, three fight contract with the PBC back in June, I believe, right? Um, after he, you know, uh, funked it up over there at the zone with the third GCG fight, okay? Nobody asked for that stupid fight. It was a trash fight. Um, you know, it, it, neither here nor there. You know, you, 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 you sent a bum man fan idiots. Y'all gonna swear up and down that uh, Gennady Golovkin is one of the greatest in the world. That, that you know, Canelo Alvarez being who he is, the face of boxing. And yeah, every right to fight Gennady Golovkin in that third fight. When there were so many different op options and opponents out there for him to fight. Mind you, he has a mandatory, WBC mandatory, David Benavidez at 168. That he f failed to, to acknowledge that. But th this is not the history video, right? I I'm just trying to bring something to y'all attention. So, this clown did the same thing before with Golden Boy and zone. Y'all don't remember? When he said he wasn't going to be pushed around. That he's some guy to hide with Mexico. They, you know, these people are asking for the moon and the stars and all that trash. Y'all remember that? Okay, well, it, 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 what's he asking for? The, the, the goddamn moon and the stars um, to fight, you know, somebody who he knows that he's going to railroad and, and mess over him. But he wants to get paid handsomely in the process, right? We already know, bro, that David Benavidez will stop Canelo Alvarez. We already know that Terrence Bud Crawford will stop Canelo Alvarez. I'm praying to the boxing, bro. I'm praying to the boxing universal gods, bro, that both Jaime McGill and Edgar Belinga retire this clown and get him the fuck out of here. That's what I'm praying. That the Oscar De La Hoya allow uh, Jaime Mugia to go up in that ring, juiced up on something, to knock this clown out. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm wishing. That's what I'm praying for. To get this clown Sandman swept up out of here. That's exactly what I want to see. All right? It's because it's sad that he's going to go over there, right? And, and he's going to sink another network. Mind you, he sunk, he sunk HBO. Mind you, he, he sunk Showtime. Mind you, he sunk... The zone as well. You remember the zone went bankrupt? Like they were like six billion dollars in debt. Don't make me look that up, right? We already know that that was all Canelo Alvarez's fault because uh the zone wanted the wanted Canelo Alvarez to, to, to fight premier people, but he didn't want to do that. Do, do y'all clowns remember that? This is for all the stupid clowns that's still listening. Do y'all not remember that the zone? Oh, you know what? Let's go right here. 
Canelo Alvarez files lawsuit against Golden Boy Oscar De La Hoya in the zone over breach of contract. Let's, let's, let's scroll down here, all right? Let, let's get here. I'm the pound for pound number one in the world. This is his own quotes. I'm not scared of any opponent in the ring. Let me stop him right there. So obviously he's scared of um, Terrence Buck Crawford, right? He said he's too small, he's moving up, and he's not going to get no credit for beating Terrence Buck. How the fuck are you not going to get any credit from defeating the, the number one pound for pound fighter in the sport? That's number one. Number two, he's a two division undisputed champion, right? Would have been three because he would have knocked your head off. You know that, but you would rather fight a 154-pounder, Jamel Charlo. You fought uh, 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 Amir Khan, the smaller weight. Uh, what's the other dude's name was? Uh, um, uh, it's, it's so many of them, bro. So many bums to name, bro. Uh, uh, Liam Smith. Uh, uh, James Kirkland. Um, who's the clown? Uh, I can't even. Hold the seat of Lopez, right? You, you fought all them clowns. Brought them all up in weight. Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., right? All these clowns nobody asks for, right? But when it comes down to Terrence Buck Crawford, you all of a sudden got all this bullshit to say about him. Same bullshit you're playing with David Benavidez. Same bullshit you've been playing for all these goddamn years we've been calling you out for. Same bullshit you played with Demetrius Boo Boo Andre, right? It's the same bullshit we're dealing with over here. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not scared of any opponent in the ring, and I'm not going to let failures of my broadcaster or promoters keep me out of the ring. Now, I want you to I want you to look at this what he's saying. Look at what this clown is saying. He's blaming the the broadcaster and the promoters. Bro, this man has literally worked with every promoter in every network and they, he sunk them all. PVC broke the contract. Golden Boy sued. Sunk the zone. Sunk Showtime. After Showtime put on that stupid Paid him all that money to to fight uh, the small Charlo, right? Sunk Showtime Boxing. They got out of boxing immediately after that, right? Sunk HBO. Did I mention that, right? And now it's everybody's fault but his fault because this clown is trying to go over. He's trying to have it his way. Now he knows he's going to go over there to the zone, right? To fight a Jaime McGill and an Edgar Belinga. Two fights nobody's asking for. Nobody in the world wants to see Canelo Alvarez against Jaime McGill. Not to mention the clown, right? Said that uh, he's not fighting any Mexican opponents. Well, well what is Jaime McGill, bro? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's sad, bro. So anyway, he said, I filed the lawsuit so I could get back to boxing and give give my fans the show that they deserve. Now, I want you clowns to understand something, bro. What bigger and better show out there is there for Canelo Alvarez to fight at this level in his career right now at this time, right? After turning down $55 million to fight David Benavidez, right? They put it on the table for him. They tried to give him that for me, but he turned that down. That's why David Benavidez moved up, you know, because, you know, we, we already know what time of day it is with this clown. Now, the WBC, the WBO, WBA, IBF, they all going to let this stupid clown give Edgar Berlinga and Jaime McGill shots at all of those belts for no fucking reason. Edgar Bolinga, I don't even believe is ranked. Jaime McGill may be ranked. And bro, I'm praying, I'm praying, bro. I'm praying that Jaime McGill go in that ring juiced up on something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just be clambuterol karma for this clown. You, you feel me? It's because not only did he... You know what? This is not the history video. I said it's not the history video, Dom. But these stupid clowns are going to come out and try to justify this, this trash. But I want y'all to pay attention to something. I said all that to say is this, bro. Because I try not to make this a long video. But y'all need to understand something, right? So this is three years ago. The 30-year-old Alvarez saw his proposed um, May return against 168-pound title holder Billy Joe Sanders canceled due to the corona outbreak. Okay. So, uh... Da -da -da -da. So, so the, the whole thing was about Canelo Alvarez, you know, seeking to fight premier opponents. Do y'all remember when Canelo Alvarez was trying to fight Jason Quigley, right? Doing this, do, doing the pandemic. Do, do y'all remember? Do you clowns remember that shit? Okay. So it was Albany Imdrum uh, uh, and, 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 um, and Jason Quigley that he was trying to fight. Originally, he was trying to fight John Ryder, Billy Joe Saunders, and Jason Quigley. And the zone said, fuck no, you're not doing that shit. And, and then that's when he left the zone, filed a suit against uh, the zone and Golden Boy for $280 million. Do you clowns remember that? And they, because they said that they wanted a, a premier opponent. 
This is the constant. This is the constant thing with Canelo Alvarez. Over and over and over again. He doesn't want to give the fight fans the premier fights that we want to see. It's only premier for him. It's because his pockets get greased and they get fattened, right? And he's, 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 he's just making a mockery of the sport. And he's destroying boxing day by day with his bullshit. It's because it, you, nobody on this planet Earth, bro, in this universe, right? And, and on, on this plane can convince me that the Canelo Alvarez, David Benavidez fight wouldn't have been the biggest fight possibly in boxing history, bro. I mean, for real, for real. They didn't even have to stack the undercard. It could have just been that one fight. I guarantee you that fight would have did over 1.1, 1.2 million pay-per-view buys, right? And David Benavidez and his father and his management team both agreed to the bare minimum. I want you clowns to understand something, too. They agreed to the bare minimum of $5 million to fight the clown. And he was going to get paid $55 million. But he declined that to go over to the zone again to fight Edgar Belinga for an undisputed matchup. And you clowns are going to justify that? What, what, what are so-called fucking champions he trying to fight then, huh? Y'all going to say, yo, what y'all going to say? What y'all going to say? Nah, he, 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 he's, he's, he's fighting all these champions. He's doing all these magical things. It's no premier opponents over there for him to fight at match room or, or Golden Boy, for that matter. So, you know, um, this dude is just a clown, bro. I, I don't know what else to say, though. It, it, bro, it, it's right here. Clear as day. It's the same shit that, that Canelo Alvarez been doing. He's doing the same thing now. Look, here it is right here. A uh, prior reporting from the Athletic revealed Golden Ball was contractually obligated to deliver one premier opponent for Alvarez to face on the zone each year. Not only did the, the, the zone determine that both Saunders and fellow unbeaten super middleweight title holder, since y'all clowns like to call them the you know, little fucking champions and bullshit, Callum Smith didn't fit the premier label this fall. The zone determined the same for Alvarez's 2019 opponents, Daniel Jacobs and Sergey Kurvalev. So there you go. How, how many names is that? That's fucking four names right there. That they didn't that they, they didn't get behind Canelo Alvarez fighting, but he wanted to do it his way. He sunk the zone. The zone didn't fully recover for that. Now he's going back over there to do the same goddamn thing again. This bro, he he's the worst thing that that's happened to boxing ever, bro, ever ever in life, right? But I pray that that the the karma exists over there for him. It's still in order for him over there. It's because. You know, he went over there and fought um, fucking um, Bivol, lost to Bivol. Nobody asked for the third GGG fight but him. And I pray that um, Balinga and um, Jaime Mugia both knock his stupid fucking head off, dog. Just send him, just get him the fuck up out of here. It's because th th this is the bullshit that us fight fans, you know what I'm saying? We got to sit down and see this fucking clown just make a, make a continuous mockery of this fucking sport, bro. And y'all clowns going to let him get away with it. You know what I'm saying? But the buck stops here, man. Let me know how y'all feel about it. I'm done with it. Peace.